Man, that felt like a uh, NCAA tournament game. I mean, I, I just have so much respect for Virginia and their staff. I think they, they're going to have a heck of a year. Um, this was a crazy game to open with, y'all. I've been sick about it for a while. Um, to try to watch film on somebody that, you know, hadn't played since last March late, and you don't know what they might want to do different. And um, to know how, you know, we're going to have to play some, some young kids tonight, some meaningful minutes. Um, but when you can lean on two seniors like Tori and and Roe, I uh, thought Morgan was, was pretty good tonight. Uh, her and Jazz both, but she has eight assists and no turnovers for Morgan. Um, and I thought Tori, I thought Tori was the difference in that she took great shots, she attacked the rim, she's eight for 15. Roe got hot in the third quarter, we found her, she made some big shots, and then you got a freshman that comes in, I had no idea she had 13, those were really quiet. But she's five out of eight, two out of three from three, makes both of her, makes her free throw, and uh, played 29 minutes. So, um, again, I, I, I thought, you know, we had too many turnovers at 17. We forced 23. Hey, the only reason we win the game is because we defended. When we made our run in the third quarter, Tory's knocking balls away, getting up the passing lane. Um, we just, we, we really got interested in, in our defense. Um, first half, I mean, they had 23 at half, and, and I just, I just, you know, that was the only thing that kept us in the first half. And uh, it's been my biggest worry. I just, we have so, we have such a long way to go in a lot of areas, but defensively is just really because of throwing in Chloe at the four, Misha at the four, the five, you're just, <clears throat> you can, it can really be a, a problem for us. So. Uh, I thought defensively tonight, not bad at times. Um, third quarter, um, you know, third quarter they went and shot 44%. In the fourth quarter they were six out of 10. But um, again, I thought when we made our run, I thought it was off our defense. And that when I think Tory got loose, um, if it wasn't for transition tonight, we could it could have been a long night for us. Proud of our kids, proud of our effort. I thought we played really hard. Uh, really appreciate our crowd. Um, look, y'all, special, special night for a special, special university, for a special, special team. These things don't happen very often. If you covered the game tonight, if you were in the building, you, you saw something that's really, really unique and really special. And, uh, you know, um, I couldn't be more proud. Um, again, they're just so many things go into tonight. I just wish, I mean, I've just been worried to death about Virginia because I just have so much respect for their, for their team and their staff. And I thought they played well. I did. To come in here and play in front of 6,800 and, and deal with our crowd, I uh, thought they, 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 did, they did a great job. So they're going to win a lot of games. They're going to be really good in the ACC. That's a good win for Mississippi State. Questions? Hey, Victoria, where do you want to be defensively in comparison to where you were last year? Um, I want to be better. <laughs> um, I feel like I can, like, if I produce more on defense today, we'll have a lot of chance of winning. Well, we'll have a chance of winning games. And um, defensively, I want to rebound more and offensively. But um, I feel like if I just help the team defensively, we'll win a lot more games. Victoria, Vic, Vic talked about it for a minute, but he, he talked about your shot selection. And there weren't, you know, sometimes last year I remember there would be some deep threes and everything. But, you know, this year it seemed like you were really taking shots on the flow of the offense. Was that something you were really concentrating on, or did it just happen like that? I was really concentrating on it. <laughs> well, no, it was just happening. Like, we've been doing it in practice. Like, we got good chemistry, so there's no point in taking bad shots. So I feel like, like Coach I always say, make a – a uh, good shot, a great shot. If um, they pay, make the extra pass and I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. Hey, Rochelle, what was it like to see the banner go up and then have to actually play a game right after that? I mean, it was nice, but like Coach said, once it's up, it's over with, and we got to focus on the new year, the new us. So it was good, though. I mean, the team really, it kind of brought back chills, and then we just had to get back after it. Chloe, is there a lot of pressure stepping into a team that obviously has a lot of seniors and you're expected to play a lot right away, or, or did it not bother you very much tonight? Um, it didn't really bother me a lot. I mean, I've got 
great teammates around me, which, you know, always helping and even on the floor and off the floor. So, um, really, I didn't feel a lot of pressure tonight, which was good. <laughs> You guys wanted a smaller lineup, Victoria. How do you feel about that lineup and where your your position in it? Um, it's not something he just threw out there. We did we've been practicing on it. So I feel like we had confidence when we went out there, so it really didn't affect us. Bro, it seemed like their length kind of bothered you guys a little bit early in the ball game and you started working some inside out stuff. How big was it to kind of get the reversal out to you on the on the wing up there? It was big. I mean, that's we worked on that the whole week of practice. So just knowing that T has good like inside out game and she sees the floor really well, it was kind of it kind of worked for the better. Chloe, did you think you didn't play in 29 minutes in your first college game? Um, not really, but I'm just glad I could contribute <laughs> and help out where I could. I mean. Fouls happen, and that's just the game, so, yeah. Well, how do you feel about your performance today? I think it could have been better, but, I mean, I had my teammates behind me, and when I wasn't doing anything, my team helped, and they stepped up and did what we do at practice, and it could have been better, but it's just something that I got to get better at. What exactly do you think is, like, you need to get better at? Um, help, help side a lot, and slowing down, but I mean, I have my teammates behind me, so when I'm not going, someone else is, it's someone else's night. Tori, when they tied it at 16, coach called timeout, what was his message to the team? They tied it at 16, what was your message? <laughs> um, you don't remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember much about that timeout either. I'm sure it was, um, I'm sure it was just a refocus time for us. We needed to refocus a little bit, and uh, I thought we did. You know, we we missed a bunch of wide open shots tonight, y'all, that we don't typically miss. And um, you know, <clears throat> uh, you know, if Roe doesn't get hot in the third quarter, and again, I thought Tory took some really big shots and made some big shots for us. Uh, at some critical times, I thought she got out in transition. The kid played, um, you know, 37 minutes and didn't look tired a bit. Um, you know, Blair's 0 for 5 and, and hadn't been 0 for 5 in a while. Uh, but she's under the weather and sick, and, and so she's, she just didn't play, you know, didn't shoot it well. But I thought Roe made big shots in the third quarter, and I just thought Tori made some really critical shots for us, but really good shots, took some really good shots. And um, so, and then, you know, I had no idea Chloe had 13. Uh, the only shot I remember her making is the three in the corner, and then when she drove it and laid it in right there uh, on our end in the second half, I thought those were those were two big ones. And, and again, her skill set, y'all, is really good. She's, she's um, from a skill set standpoint, a little bit different, and um, and so I, we're you know it's that's that's good that's that's going to be something that's going to help us a bunch. Um, what she's got to deal with is she's going to have to deal with some technique blocking out and and, and dealing with um, you know some other things. So, bro, <clears throat> where do you stand with your shot? Sorry, where do you stand with your shot? I mean, I think it's in good standing. Some it could be better. I just got to keep working and staying in the gym. And she didn't miss a shot yesterday in practice. I mean, anywhere, anyhow, and it, and, it, and it was yesterday. It hadn't been that way, but yesterday, man, she was like, and so I've gone all week. You go all week, and I've told you, I'm going to play who's hot. So I go all week, and you got this lineup in your head, and then the next thing you know, um, I come out of practice yesterday afternoon, and I got – these, I got a thousand things in my head, and I got one more. Now Roe's hot, and I got to figure out, okay, Roe, Roe's getting it, so we need to play her. And uh, so, uh, again, I think Roe got dinged in the head a little bit tonight and kind of knocked her silly, and that's when she made three or four in a row. So. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Any other questions? Hey, what, what do you think of the way uh, they defended McCowan today? 
know, if you got six nine to stick behind her, she's that's a pretty effective way. You know, I I really two things. One, I wanted T to attack the rim. She was settling for that turnaround where any other night she's gonna be able to jump up over people. But against six nine, it's just not possible. Her and Amisha both. They, they, uh, you know, they, they were up there in turnovers, and when they get their shot blocked, that's a turnover. So, where I thought Tierra was great, and it's one of the good things that that she has is she's a great passer. And when we were making that run, she was being very unselfish, turning the floor to a row, and and helping us find some shooters. So, Tierra is really good at that. She's got a great feel uh, passing the basketball, and so, um, and it's just hard to. You stick somebody behind her six nine, it's gonna be hard for anybody to score. So they're gonna do that to a lot of people, and they're not gonna be behind. You know, they're not gonna to have to be behind six seven. They're gonna be behind six three, and so that kid's gotten a lot better, y'all. And and I knew going in, she was a lot better. Um, so again, they, that allows you to do a lot of things when you got six nine protecting the rim. This was a game where you guys, I think, opened the game what three of fifteen from three or something like that. Yeah. Is that is this a positive then in the sense that this shows you guys that how you can win despite an off shooting that to start things off? Yeah, that's probably what we talked about in that timeout was hey, let's stop shooting it and let's attack the rim a little bit. Let's let's see if we can go get a bit a little bit better shot and and so yeah, again, we haven't shot it this poorly all in ever. I mean, not all year, not since we started practicing and and so but, but again it wasn't you know, Blair goes over for five, but Chloe picks up slack and goes two for three. I'll take four for 10 from row every night. 40% is like 60 from two. So I'll take those two percentages right there and, and be really happy with it. Tori, what'd you do from three? Mm, don't talk about it. Three for nine. I mean, that's 33%, but that's 50% from two. That's what that translates into. So all those numbers from those three, these three, those are good numbers from the from the line. What I Here's what you don't like about the line. Okay, the numbers are good. The percentage is fine. It really is, but you're not going to get to the free throw line and you're not going to get anybody in foul trouble standing out there and toe in the three point line. I want people in foul trouble. I want to drive it and rack it. I want to get layups, you know, and so that's where if you get out there and get satisfied shooting threes, that's where it could, the, you know, it could really affect you later in the game when you don't have anybody in foul trouble. So, again, for us, we stayed out of foul trouble tonight, which is good. Um, and that's it's going to be a you know I, I was thinking going into the ball game I didn't know if we needed to press or not just because um, you know I didn't want to get anybody in in unnecessary foul trouble but I'm afraid if I went in there and told them we weren't going to press to start the game they'd have killed me because that's what we do and that's what they want to do they they like that they want to create that atmosphere so that right tour yeah <laughs> any other questions all right all right.